The 4th of July is always a joyful celebration. Yeah. Looks like somebody's coming down the trail. I wonder who they are. This is a group of Russian hikers. They're on their first hiking trip in the United States. They just arrived two weeks ago. Well, whoever they are, let's be courteous to them. Hey, what's happening? Hey, 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 how are you? Yeah. There you go. Have fun. Have fun. Hey, Joe, happy 4th of July. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Uh, my name is Mr. Slater, and I'm a group leader from Native Indian School. This is my group, Chitabu, over here. What are you celebrating? Uh, we're, ce we're celebrating the 4th of July. It's our Independence Day. Explain. Well, see, before July 4th, 1776, all the land that we're on right now was ruled by England. And the English had sent colonists over here in order to expand their realm. Well, most of the colonists felt like their like their rights were being oppressed, severely oppressed. So they got together secretly and broke away from England. And we celebrate this day in order to honor our men who fought for our independence. I see. Thanks a lot for your attention. What I'm going to do, I'm going to have um, Gary and Jason come and talk about the crest a little bit. Um, the recommendation, what it takes to get the crest, and also the crest itself, and um, what it means. Okay, Gary. And Hi, my name is Gary Lewis, and I'm from the group of China. And today I was given the privilege to tell, tell, talk about the ABCs of running a crest recommendation here at New Dominion. A, one must be accepting that he has problems in order to change himself. B, believing that, you know, that other people can help him and being able to believe that he can help, it, help himself. And C, having the courage to know the problems that he has and, you know, setting up goals around him to make to change. And at this time, Jason basically will tell you more about the crest itself. As Gary said, I'm also very privileged to uh, help you explain help you get a better understanding of how what the crest sim what the crest patch symbolizes. Uh, my name is Jason Bates. I'm in the group Shataba and um, I'll start explaining. The first part you look at is uh, the sign says New Dominion. It stands for making oneself anew or to change oneself to a point where you feel happy. Um, and when added to the New Dominion sign we have the scroll here which gives you the knowledge and the wisdom on how to do so and how to change yourself and make yourself feel better about yourself. And when you look real closely, you see this big mountain these uh, two boys are climbing. The one on the top, well, first the mountain represents the struggles and the challenges and the changes which they have to go to upper levels in their growth. And then you have here the uh, crest member who's pulling up the non-crest member on a rope which stands for the trust in which you have to put in somebody for them to help you up. And when the non-crest member gets up here, he'll be a crest member and he'll have his responsibility to, his responsibility to pull somebody else up. And if you look in the background, there's more mountains over here and more hills to climb, which represents the other further challenges and further things you must face just to be a student here and to learn and grow. We have a new we have we have things like Lakota, which is our senior crest group, and things like that. Thank you. Thanks for listening. When they get in the group, uh, in order to earn this, um, because it is so important. Uh, some of these struggles include um, when you're when you're seeking information, when you're when you're going to people in the group and uh, asking for feedback. And sometimes that's really hard. Cause we learn things about ourselves that a lot of times we don't really want to hear and we don't really want to uh, take a look at it. Um, and that's one of the most important parts in earning your crest is going and uh, 
going out and asking for this type of feedback, and then when you get it to do something with it. Uh, and it is a struggle. Um, and then we talked about the recommendation. Um, and that's hard because you, you go in front of the group and you ask the group members if they feel you're ready for it. Uh, and the group can say no. And then you start off with a whole new set of challenges. Uh, and you try to get yourself ready for it again. And it's, it's a process of you just, you're, you're facing your fears and you're going where it's hard for you to go. Um, and the, the struggles, to overcome those struggles, facing your fears and, and having a, bit, a growing experience out of it. Um, one person that I know that's, that's faced his fears and seek that information and gone through his struggles is uh, you, Todd. Uh, I've seen you go to people, look for the feedback, and then not only get the feedback and receive it, but do something with it. And facing your fears and asking other people for that feedback. Um, I've just seen you grow a whole lot, Todd, and for that I want to give you your crest today. You have a first student that I've <coughs> been all the way through it. The whole time I've been with you, I've, I've marveled at your growth. You've been yeah, a whole lot to I see how focused that you've been and how seriously you've taken it. And uh, yeah, along with you, I face a lot of fears in getting to know you better. And uh, I'm very proud to give this present. God, I know it's, uh, it's real difficult for you to stand up here in front of people, and uh, that's what's, I guess, really impressed me the most, is that you, um, you're you really going out and facing your fears, and like Mr. Hatchett says, you've, uh, you've really impressed me with asking for a lot of feedback and being able to take a look at that and accept it, and, uh, and really work towards the goals that have been set up for you. I think back to the day that you and I talked on the porch when you first came in, and how much I related to, uh, to your problems and, and how far you've gone uh, with what we've set up for you. I'm just real proud to give you a breath. I'd just like to recognize um, everyone in Tawanka, and especially you, Mr. Hatchet, Mr. Fiji, Mr. Mishin, for um, really pushing me. Congratulations, Todd. It's always a special occasion here when somebody uh, receives a crest. <laughs>